Feed your needs to rock. 94.5. The Bull. Like, I don't think it's that I'm so much nervous about getting this done. It's just that whole, now I know how my cats feel on the way to the vets. Because they know how the veterinarian is going to take their thermometer, and that's kind of the way that I'm going to get treated today. <laughs> it's not what you call a real exciting procedure. But again, I think the biggest thing about this is if there's anything that we can do, you know, if one guy decides after watching this or hearing this that he's going to go and get himself tested, I think that's the most important thing, you know, because one in seven guys in their lifetime are going to get prostate cancer in Canada. You know, 25,000 guys a year diagnosed, 4,000 guys lose their battle with prostate cancer. And our goal today is just to make sure that people understand that it's not a huge deal. Well, it is a huge deal when anybody's <laughs> playing around back there. That's a big deal in my books. But I think the big thing is it's a few minutes of discomfort and ultimately, hopefully, it's something that could change your life forever. Uh, you know, whether it be, you know, you get a clean bill of health from the doc and you keep going back for that every so often, or, you know, they find something and, and ultimately, you know, prevention is key. Uh, if you're able to diagnose early, then you can treat it. You know, we've, we've made so many gains over the past 10 years and beyond. Uh, you know, something that was once fatal is now, like I said, you know, with early diagnosis, it is treatable. Um, in saying all that, does it make me feel any more comfortable about what is coming? Absolutely not. I have a sneaking suspicion in a short little while I'm going to be a lot more uncomfortable. But I can say that I am excited about the fact that I'm actually going to a hospital as opposed to the studio because I've seen what KFAL and Ted Easton eat in our studio and I know what kind of cleanliness that we keep. Uh, but I need some inspiration first. Before I go do this, I gotta go see my boy Big Bruce. See? No flies back there on Big Bruce. Let's go find out if there's any flies back there on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that doesn't make me any more comfortable about this. Uh, I'm kidding, man. It's good you're doing it though. It's good for prostate awareness, eh? It's all well, that much more comfortable experience. Thanks. <laughs> Have you never got one? No. Oh, okay. Don't worry. It's really not. It's it's easy. It's not that it sounds Especially like it's your end. Yeah. No, don't worry. It'll be easy for you. So. Sounds like a dream. Yeah. You're the one with the better view, so don't worry. Oh. All right. So what is this? That's, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! This is just the prep part. That is not a prep anything. That is a vacuum cleaner. That is a Dyson. Uh, no, no. Okay. My wife but... has one of those. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no. This is not it. Oh. <laughs> All right. No way, you're okay. <laughs> it's a cast cutter. A cast cutter? Cast cutter. Yeah. That was okay. almost a pride stealer. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Oh. That right. was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, um, what uh, position so, would you like me Okay, to so typically what we do is put someone in the, so on the side. So your head would be here. You'd be lying on your side. I get to lay down? You, yeah, it's laying down. Oh. Yeah, it's not, I know how you, know, you picture that thing they should do on TV. Well, they that's pictured how it was that one time in the hood of a cop car, but never mind. <laughs> no, 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 so I get, to, I get to lay on my side. This yeah, you just lay on your side with your knees tucked up to your chest. Uh, okay, do we have any mood lighting, any track no. lighting, any Sade that we can put on, perhaps? <laughs> no, this is going to be a lot more romantic than I thought. <laughs> All right, so I lay this way, facing the wall, then, or no. uh, do I put my head on your pillow? I would prefer that you didn't snap the gloves. <laughs> like that. Thank you very much. That makes this that much more easing. I really wish the lights were out, because I'm way better when you can't see me. All right, so I'm going to goop it up here now. Goop it up? Yeah, goop it up. Don't, don't say that. All right. Those women still aren't outside the room, are they? Can, are they going to be here? Are, are they going to be able to hear me scream? And, <laughs> you're not going to be screaming. Pain? Okay, you're well that's, that's fantastic. Here, let me be a little gentleman of you and give you some oh. Kleenex because you'll need it. Okay, it's going to be goopy. Oh, oh man, that's just that's that's so, inappropriate. So typically, when we do a rectal, it's yeah. good to also just check. Oh, that's okay. okay. <laughs> Don't relax. I'll, you'll know it. I'll, I'll let you know. So we just typically look for any hemorrhoids, this, that, anything, you know, Perfect. any kind of lesions that we see. Excellent. Okay. So don't worry, so here, okay, so. That's, that's so cool. The, yeah, oh sorry, okay. <laughs> so the proper thing is you just leave it there because you actually have a reflex called the anal wink. Okay. And you have it, so that's good. 
That, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm glad. So, so the, be- the easiest way to do this. What? Okay. what? <laughs> okay. So the okay. easiest way to do this is I'm going to tell you, I won't tell you right now, but I'll tell you to bear down like you need to take a poop. Okay. And what that actually does is it straightens your rectum to make my finger slide in better. <laughs> All right? So when you're ready, just bear down. Okay. There you go. That's it. Now, is this painful? It's uncomfortable, but is it painful? It's uncomfortable. It's, it's not painful. It painful. just it doesn't feel natural. No, <laughs> it doesn't. So now I'm just going to be checking your prostate here. Okay. Rubbing back and forth. Yeah. To seeing the size. Okay. And if I feel any nodules or anything like that. So it feels smooth. Okay, good. And it's symmetric on both sides. It's awesome. Uh, wait, what's this? <laughs> feels like a gerbil. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is not the time for jokes. All right, okay, all right. This is not the time that, no, right. absolutely not. Okay, all right. It's, it's, I don't know what kind of parties you were having last night, but. Okay, so, okay, so now I'm just gonna slip it out. Okay. And that's it. Done. How was that? Okay, like I said, <laughs> uncomfortable, it didn't feel natural, but at the same time, if, you know, we wind up doing this test, I've got a clean bill of health, it's exactly. worth coming back, you know, once a year or something. It's not something that I'd be like, hey, doc, what are you doing <laughs> Thursday night? You know, <laughs> let's watch a rerun of Seinfeld, you do that thing you did to me in Chesley again. <laughs> I know. But I think at the same time, you know, it's got to be something that so many guys need to realize, you know, one in seven Canadian guys going to be winding up getting diagnosed with this. The numbers are getting a lot better. The treatment is getting a lot better, but we want to see those numbers continue to get better. So right. very important that you talk to your physician. Uh, very important that you buy him a nice tall glass of pa- uh, of beer afterwards. Um, uh, yeah, so like you said, it is a very co- it's actually the most common cancer uh, amongst men, and it's a it's a easily um, uh, preventable one uh, by doing this exam, and it's not that bad. And you know, it's important for men to realize it's not something you know to just shy away from or to not go to. It's not a big deal for the doctor, that's for sure, and. Uh, it's, it's something very...